CNN. Spoiler alert. This article contains spoilers for This Is US because it is literally an article about This Is US. Hello, if you are reading this, you probably don't watch This Is Us because those who do are still choke sobbing into their shiras or dismantling their crock pots before their fictional character death support meetings. Regardless, people were still totally satisfied and impressed, as evidenced by all of the cryface images. Give me the basic plot details, because from the outside this show just looks like a bunch of people hugging and talking. This is a centers around the lives of the Pearson family. Jack, Milo Ventimiglia, and Rebecca, Mandy Moore, are mom and dad. They have three adult children, Kevin, Justin Hartley, Kate, Chrissy Metz, and Randall, Sterling K. So, she and Jack decide to adopt a third baby who was dropped off at the hospital the same night. These three children grow up to be three very different people in the present, mix all together, stir well, let's set and eat by the spoonful whilst crying. And, we also find out that Rebecca, the love of his life, is now remarried to his best friend. And also Randall meets his biological dad just in time for him to die in Randall's arms and... Frankly, there are a lot of alcohol and substance abuse issues all around. So it's about a complex family dealing with the highs and lows that make us human. That is a fair assessment, yes. Why do so many people I know allow themselves to be emotionally victimized by this show? Diehards will tell you the tears they shed are a great emotional catharsis. First of all, there are plenty of well-wrought characters in which to invest. There's devoted husband Jack, relatable Kate and inspiring Randall, plus a host of relatives and partners so charming and perfect they'll make all of your current relationships look like trash. Not only does the large family roster allow for an expanding fractal of dramatic possibilities, the drama is boosted every opportunity. There are evocative piano interludes. There are long contemplative shots of everyday tableau suddenly rendered so tender and precious you'll find yourself sobbing over a 10 second camera pan of wainscoting. And it will use it against you. Tell it to the trophy case. The show is ridiculously well regarded and has snagged SAG awards, Golden Globes, Emmys and other accolades during its two-year existence. Mostly, though, it's about the crying.if sobbing until you puke is your idea of a healthy emotional endeavor, this is the show for you, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you have enough angst in your life and can barely stand to witness your own family talk out their occasional issues, let alone a fictional family doing so on a weekly basis, you might want to skip. Noted.so wait, how does Jack die? It's looking like. Dot house fire by busted crockpot I find this hard to believe.
Okay, I'm a masochist, and I'm in dot when can I find out what happens next? The details of Jack's demise and the future of the Pearson family will be revealed we kid you, not on February 4th right after.